All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises and glories to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, and double honors to our apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, wherever you may be on the four corners of the earth. This right. is going to be a really spiritual lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, man, today was the best day of my whole entire life in the truth. It's going to be a better day. It's going to be a better day. The Lord at my gig, the Lord is showing me my your enemies, um, your, enemy, um, your enemies will be, should be at peace with you. And will submit themselves. Submit themselves. And everything that I've been doing, I've, all I've been doing has been hold, just going to work. I go to, I go to work every day when I'm scheduled and, and I just, I'm there. But now I'm seeing the fruits of my labor because my hands have been in the plow doing the work of the Lord. And I love the Lord to the fullest of my abilities. And all I'm telling you, brothers, man, to this point, from this day forward, trust in the Lord. Whatever you're going through, trust him. He is going to be with you wherever the fuck you're going to be. Excuse me, because that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. But he's just so great. I got a quick precept for you, Ock. Going into that, and all brothers remember our forefathers, how the Lord blessed them when they kept his will first. Mm -hmm. And he blessed everything that they put their hands to. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go to Joseph in Egypt. Daniel during the Babylonian and Persian Empire, he was a very great man. So I'm going to read this real quick. This is Genesis 39 and 2. Well, I'll read 39. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him. Of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the Lord Yahweh, and I'm gonna read it in the name of, of the Son as well, because at this time it's only the Heavenly Father. But through the Son, Yahweh Shamashak, do we get back to the Father? So I'm gonna read it as that. This is verse 2. This is Genesis 39 and 2. And the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, was with Joseph, and he was and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord, Yahweh, was with him. And that the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, made all that he did to prosper in his hand. <laughs> That's it. And Joseph found grace in his sight. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had, he put into his hands. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house. And over all that he had, that the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Just goes to show that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house that Joseph was serving in because the Lord delighted in Joseph. And is going the same with this brother and all you brothers that may still have these jobs and and the times are getting tough and heavy, but yet the Lord is going to make it prosper because the Lord is pleased with what you're doing. And that's why the Lord, the, the brother said that he is the one of the best days that he had in his life in the truth. But there's going to be greater days to come for the elect. There's going to be greater days to come for that hopeful, that house of David. Because David, when he was uh, anointed king, it said that the, the spirit of the Lord was on David from that moment forth. <laughs> mm, mm. And he went out and did. Did what the father told him what to do. What the father told him to, him to do, man. Because he's just pleased. The Lord is pleased with us, man. Man. The so. Lord is really pleased with every single member of the elect. And we <clears> constantly <throat> show the Lord that we love him. We With all these liars and all these false prophets and all these fake camps. The Lord knows who is chosen is. He's like, they still stand strong and, and, and standing stiffly for my name in these troubled times. Because everybody's, all these other camps, they falling away. They getting all scared. They telling you to, 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 to adhere to the demon, the devil himself. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, his people. But we're going to stick with the Lord. You see how Joseph did what he was supposed to do? And, it, and, and, and through him doing what he had to do, the Lord blessed the house of the Egyptian that he was under. And you know, not he, blessing the Egyptians, but he blessed Joseph because Joseph was there. Man. So go ahead, I. Man, and the words you say, the words you say, because hey, this cloud is so funny. I promise you, brother, it, this, man, this cloud right here, 
through the spirit of power, I see Leviathan right here, bro. Right here, bro. Mm -hmm. See the eye, the, the mouth. Hey, Lo hey, the Leviathan is coming. The Lord Leviathan is unleashed. He's going to unleash Leviathan. A lot of these things in this time. Hey, we're, we're in excited we're times, trying, brothers. Man. We ain't have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. All the hell and the evil that's coming is for these people. God, this... But what was the uh, the title of the lesson, bro? <laughs> I will trust in the Lord. We will trust in the Lord because the Lord is the one bringing the evil. So we're going to trust in the Lord. Go God, ahead, this right? is uh, Psalms <clears throat> 23 and 4. It says, uh, I'm starting at the third verse. This is Psalms 23 and 3. It says, He restored my soul. He lead me to me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will put the trust, put my trust in the Lord. Mm, All shit. sides of my life. Because the angels of the Lord are around me today. Hey, go ahead up. It says, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We're in the shadow of death now. Babylon the Great is that shadow of death. The land of darkness is darkness itself, as it tells you in Job. The Lord put it in David's spirit to, to trust in him in all aspects of his life, even when he was afraid and the flesh was, you know, jumping around. What did David say? Read that again. I, sure. This is... uh. Psalms 23 and 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We will fear no evil. There's a pestilence out here, so to speak. Plandemic, but there's true, real pestilences out here. Mm -hmm. We're in a time of pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places and wars and rumors of wars and evils and, and the love of many waxing cold because the iniquity shall abound. But yet, in it all, we're not afraid. We trust in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. It says, for the, for thou art with me, my thy rod and my staff they comfort me. The rod and thy staff, they comfort us, cause the rod is what do you use with a rod? You use that to uh uh to beat somebody with, and the staff is like a when you have a shepherd, it's leading the sheep with the staff. So the Lord is leading us, but yet beating <laughs> beating us in the right direction mm -hmm. to do what's right. He's beating, he's making us do right. Yeah, Khan. Let me get that uh, real quick, the word rod. Because rod, it could be like a scepter. Or it can be something that you beat somebody with. And the Lord ain't beating us to death, right? Because you know when you grew up, you, you thanked your parents for beating the hell out of you. Because uh, they kept you out of the uh, the jailhouse, the penitentiary. Doing the, the, the things that your other friends used to do. That are now uh, ne'er do wells and hoodlums, so you you respected your 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 parents, your father preferably, for beating you. But how much more the heavenly father? He said, "This is a, uh, despise not the chastening of the Lord. We're gonna trust in the Lord, even in the beating." Can you get that in Job, if you know where that is, mm -hmm. uh, where it says uh, Job twelve, uh, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Let me get that slay. I'll give it to you. Can you, uh, is in Job. Bear with me. It's in Job 13 and 15. This is Job 13 and 15. It says, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. Yeah. So though the Lord is, is slaying us, but not killing us, we're not dead. We're going to trust in him because we know what he's doing is for our good, mm -hmm. for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I. I will maintain my own ways before him. Hey, we're going to maintain our own ways, the ways we've been walking before him. We're going to keep that up. We're going to keep serving him. Regardless, we're going to keep serving the Lord. No matter what. No matter what. He also shall be my salvation for a hypocrite shall not come before him. A hypocrite, an actor, will not come before the Lord. The Lord is searching the reins of the heart. He's searching your inner man, your intent. What is your intent? Our intent is to serve the Lord. That's why the Lord keeps his spirit on men year after year because their intent is to serve him. That's it. And the men that don't want to serve the Lord but their own lusts or their own uh, 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 
ventures, he cast them away. And even these other camps, these leaders, you would think like, why are they still around? The Lord, the deceiver and the deceived is his, and the Lord is going to destroy them in the end anyway. And he said, if, if that man is deceived, the Lord himself has deceived that, that mm -hmm. prophet. These false prophets, the Lord have deceived these, these, these dudes. He has seared them with a hot iron so that they don't know the truth. All right, now I'm going to get that word of rod real quick. Brothers Bear, with us. Okay, the word rod in the uh, in the Hebrew is Shabbat. Shabbat, all right? This is rod, stab, branch, club, scepter. All right? You know what I'm bringing out? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, uh, It says rod, staff, scepter. All right? Because we know that the Lord is the one reigning. He's the king. He guides the affairs of his men. We're the ambassadors of, of Amashiach. We have uh, 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 ambassador sovereignty in this land. They can't tell us not to preach because the Most High, who is sovereign above all, told us to preach, mm -hmm. told us to trust in him. Remember when Daniel, it was a decree that no man was supposed to pray for 30 days except the king. But what, what did Daniel do? He still he prayed. Pray. Like, who the hell is this fleshly king telling me that I can't pray to my power? I'm going to pray. I'm going to trust in the Lord. And that's when he was cast into a den mm -hmm. of lions. But the Lord, <laughs> the Lord had him. It says, authority, mark of authority. Thy rod and thy staff, they come from me. The staff is leading you, and the rod is, 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 in, is, is a scepter in the hand of the king or, or a club to beat you with, or it also can be a mark of authority. So we have get, been given the authority of the heavenly father to praise him. We're praising him amongst these people that don't that believe he exists. We're warned to them, they're fools. They're very foolish to believe that there is no power, which there is a power. We come to proclaim you, uh, proclaim him unto you. Mm -hmm. As uh, Tobit said, uh, you know, uh, we're going to testify him amongst the Gentiles whom we are scattered. It says um, a ruling, a walking. So the, the staff is, is, is for ruling and walking. So like the sheep are led with the shepherd with his staff. They're following him. He's leading the sheep with the staff. And a king is ruling. See, we're being ruled over by our power. So we have nothing to fear. We have a great king that rules <laughs> over us. A that great, loves us. A great level of a great king. So why not Man. trust in him? Man. Go ahead, I <clears throat> if you had anything. No, that's good. No. God. We're um, I have something. God. It's the book of uh this is the book of Timothy 1 and 11, or 1 Timothy 1 and 11, and it reads, I'll start from, uh, I'll start from 11 and read down. It says, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed power, whoo, which was committed to my trust, and I thank of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord, who have enabled me for that he counted me faithful putting me into the ministry. <laughs> so he counted brothers faithful by putting us in the ministry. Man. So we trust in him. Man. Because he trusted in us to, mm. to give us this glorious gospel, these treasures in earthen vessels. Whoa, that 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 goes a long way, bro, to to trust. Like, there you go. You got that. Mm -hmm. I know he going I know he going to keep that. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord gives us faith. He don't give that to anybody. He gives that to to, the, to, the, to those, uh, uh, his servants in the womb. He said, the fear of the Lord is with the faithful in the womb. He placed that with the faithful in the womb. Man, bro. Hey, hey bros. And I am getting ready to have a seed, man. I'm getting ready to have a seed. And, man. And the Lord showed me in the, in the um, ultrasound, man, that my seed has the Holy Spirit, man. The brothers can attest to it too, man. It's the Lord's got us, man. He does. All the children are, that brothers are, yeah, are bearing, right. even at this time, in these troubled mm -hmm. times, yeah. the Lord has them. Mm -hmm. You don't think children was born in the wilderness when we left Egypt? <laughs> We're going to we, we just gonna stop like no, I don't have no babies in this wilderness. We still having children in the wilderness. We were there 40 years in that wilderness. Man. Come on, man. Shame. So don't be afraid, afraid or ashamed. I ain't saying brothers go out there and have them, but if the Lord allows you to have a seed and you're in this ministry, you're in this truth, and the Lord have trusted you with the gospel, 
Trust in him. Trust in him. And and it tells you in another place, uh, do you have the Apocrypha, Bible Kishaw? Because in the Apocrypha, it tells you just that. It said that the Lord is going to cover us so that even our children shall not see hell. Could you get that in um, 2nd Edges 2 and 27? It's one of my favorites. For brothers that have children, because I don't have no seed, but brothers in the truth are like children, you know, to mm -hmm. me. Like, I have sons in the truth, like Paul was a father to Timothy in the truth. So brothers have children, whether you have them or don't have them, you, you know how to, 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 to rule. You know how to uh, uh, govern. You know how to t uh, give brothers beautiful advice in the spirit. Go ahead. I this is 2nd uh, Ezra 2 and 27. Be not weary for nothing. So for so like, so be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Mm -hmm. Other shall weep and so and sorrowful and be sorrowful and be sorrowful, but, but thou, thou shalt be merry and have abundance. You hear that, brothers? Look at the time we're living in right now. People getting evicted. People ain't got no job. Brothers still have jobs, and brothers that didn't have don't have a job anymore still getting getting their daily daily bread. You see that? The Lord is even showing you right now that he has you. So how much more when the days of like true troubleness and people out here in the streets and there's looting and sedition amongst men and the, the military is in the streets and newly created creatures and the Lord really starts sending these plagues as in Egypt. We're going to be like the land of Goshen where Israel was dwelling. They were untouched. They had lights. Their cattle wasn't uh, plagued. They didn't They didn't uh, receive the hail or none of the plagues that the Egyptians uh, were, were going through. And you know that that, that word Goshen means? It's Gashan in the Hebrew. It means uh, uh, a drawing near. So we're drawing near to the Heavenly Father. The, the closer these days get to the kingdom, what are we doing? Drawing near, near unto our power. And he's drawing near unto us. You see that? He said, you draw near unto me, I draw near unto you. Go ahead. Huh? Let me start at the 26th verse. Go ahead. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 26. This no, no, uh, Edris. Uh, uh, um, second Edris, sorry, second Edris. Chapter two, verse twenty-six, says, "For as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Ooh, not one of them is going to perish. That elect, the one third, even though there's certain men destined to be beheaded, there's a glorious death because they're not really dead. They're just transitioning out of this present life to where the Father and the Son is. Mm -hmm. And who's to say that they're going to feel anything? Let's remember Stephen." Before he was stoned, the Lord took his spirit. And who did he see on the throne? Yahweh. And who did he see on the right hand? Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, huh? For I will require them from among thy number. Ooh, the Lord is requiring that. And what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, no man is more powerful than my father. These are in my father's hand, and no man can pluck them out of my Money. father's hand. Those souls, those spirits. Go ahead, huh? This is 27. It says, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh is coming is we we in it right we're now we're right in the now stages the, but it's going to be more and more intense but we're, the, the lord is prepared we're prepared our mind our minds are we're the lord is preparing he already prepared our minds isaiah 33 and 6 that's right king says be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance Woo! You shall be merry, happy, and have abundance. But yet, what time we in? Uh, we in that marry this, marry that. Yeah. But these people are not married. But the Lord said, my elect, they're going to be merry and have abundance. Wait, wait, wait. He said, look at it. <laughs> he says, man, 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 that's beautiful. Mm. That's beautiful, man. This is 28. He says, the heathen shall envy thee. The heathen, two-thirds, man. The heathen. Ultimate, the ultimately, ultimately, the actual the heathen. heathen. Yeah. Esau, Edom's ugly self. He ain't going to have what he think he going to have. All these preppers prepping are prepping for the elect. Because mm -hmm. it said that they may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. Okay. Go ahead. So, And now, and like the brother said, the two-thirds are heathens now. They going to envy and be like, damn, why they living so fat and li living good? Because we trust in our power. Your power, too. Mm -hmm. But... With, with you heard the same word that we're reading from, but with you, it was not mixed with faith. With yeah. us, it's mixed, mixed with, with faith. faith. Because through faith and in faith, 
That's we we please our power through faith. But without faith, it it's, is it's impossible, impossible to please yeah. our power, man. That's it, bro. So you gotta trust, man, in our power. The Lord can do all things, great things, many things, unbelievable things, unspeakable things, if you trust in Him. Go ahead, I. This is uh, going back into uh, Second Ezra two and twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Says the heathen shall envy thee, but thou shalt have able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They shall be able to do nothing against us, saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he's not as a man that he should lie. So this will really happen. They gonna want to kill you, rob you, because in that time people gonna be robbing and killing each other for for things because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation but yet with the elect it said they shall be able to do nothing against thee saith the lord yahweh bashem yahweh shai okay. just like how we were in the wilderness there's wild animals and wild beasts in that wilderness right but the lord kept all of them away from from the children of israel when we were encamped in the wilderness and the lord gave us food in a place where it was barren and there was nothing there he, he, uh, Moses uh, claved the rock. We drunk to the full. The Lord rained manna and quail from heaven. So the Lord is telling us, hey, in this time, best believe I'm going to have you if I had your forefathers in the wilderness. Mm. And these were a certain disobedient uh, of, uh, of our people were still fed. But during that 40 year period, the Lord killed that old generation off in the wilderness. So how much more for the faithful ones in this time that the Lord said, I will require those souls from among that that number man mm. go ahead huh? this is uh 29 it says my hand shall cover thee who and who's the hand of the heavenly father the right hand yeah i was shy yeah i was shy who's the the the, the arm the heavenly, the heavenly host <laughs> <laughs> and then the, what did it what did it say in psalm 34 and 7 the angels encamp around about them that fear the lord and delivereth them go ahead huh? it says uh my hand shall cover thee, so that my children, thy children, thy children, thy children shall not see hell. See, that's the grave. Your children, brothers, if you have children on the way, children in the womb, children already here, they shall not see the grave, hell. They ain't talking about some place underground burning with fire. It's talking about the grave. Because a lot of children in this time, these wicked children, they're going to be put to the sword, which is the Lord's sword is who? Esau, Edom. And, and, and any instrument to kill, whether it be the gun or the Maxine or or whatever diabolical that defy G or a damn microwave gun or these robots or robot dogs, none of these things are going to have power over you nor your children. Mm. If you believe. That's it. Hey, fear not. Only believe. believe. Go ahead. I this is 30. Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children. Now that's going really into uh, the, the land of Israel. But who's our mother? Wisdom. Wisdom, uh, the law is, is 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 like a mother unto us, because what, what what are we nourished with the word, mm -hmm. right? And who's our father, Yahweh? He's guiding us, he's leading us, he's chastising us like a father should, right? When we going off, so we can stay on that right path. But our mother is the scriptures mm -hmm. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. But even the mother of children, you got a woman or a wife, she's gonna be joyous over the children. Go ahead, out read that. This is be joyful over. O thou mother with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now that's talking about the actual wives of the elect men and the women that's going to come in because it said they shall be saved by a child. But I say, can you read that again? It says, Be joyful, O thou mother. Hey, hey, brothers, if your woman tripping, read that to her. Like, you better be quiet, better shut down. What did it tell you to do? It says, be joyful, O, o thou mother, with thy children. With your children. For I will deliver thee, saith Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Is the Lord, is the, is, is that not going to happen? Is the Lord, as a man, that, that he should lie? No. no. The Lord is good on, he makes good on his word every time. Every time. He has always made good on his word. Us going into slavery, are we not here? Mm -hmm. Lord made good on his word on that one. So how much more the, the, the mercies, the sure mercies of David? How much more the uh, 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 the Lord uh, not forsaken those that called upon him or confounded him? Can you get that, Bob Kishaw? And uh, you already know where to go. Sirach 2, oh, 2, 2 and 10. Oh, Sirach 2 and 10. God. And I'm going to read the rest of this in 1 Timothy 1. This is 1 Timothy 1. 
and 12. And I thank Amashiach Yahusha, our Lord, who have enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer. So we were all blasphemers, bro. We all, mm -hmm. we we all didn't all. know who the mm -hmm. Lord really was. Yeah. You know, we was doing our own thing. So we could we could attain of what Paul is saying and how how grateful and how and why he went so hard in the ministry because he loved the Lord so much. Like Lord, you gave me this chance to water. I'm going I'm going to take this and run with it. Okay. I ain't going to stop. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in, whether it be by life or by death. Who shall separate us from the love Lord, of Mashiach? Yeah. I'm going to keep reading. It says, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. All the things we did, we did it ignorantly in unbelief. We didn't know what was really going on. And the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Bashi was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Amashiach Yahweh Shai. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Amashiach Yahweh Shai came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. <laughs> That's it. We are all sinners. And we're all sinning still. We are. But yet in our spirit, there is, there is no blemish. In the words that we speak, there is no guile. So the men can the, the cast stones at us and point or whatever. But to the Lord, we're untouched. We're, we're blameless. We're virgins. We, we are beautiful in his eyesight. And the Lord's willing we remain. So to the coming day of the Lord, blameless, harmless, sons of the Heavenly Father, as whom we shine as lights before a wicked and perverse nation. You know, it says, How be it for this cause I obtain mercy, that in me first, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, might show forth all long suffering for a pattern of them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Mm -hmm. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise power, the honor and glory forever and ever. So it be true. <laughs> man. Beautiful, man. This is, uh, can you give me some light, brother? Come brother. Got this you. is, uh, uh, Sirach in the pocket of, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did any, did, er, did ever any trust in Yahweh Bashim El Shai was confounded? Man. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken mm. or whom did he ever despise that called upon his name not one that called upon him go ahead read that again that last part it says that it says um you can start for or, or uh, whom or, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him who who did he ever despise we can go to the history. You can go into the scriptures that you can't name one time. Now read the next verse, brother. It says, For for Yahweh by Shimei Shah is full of compassion mm. and mercy Woo. and long suffering. Uh, that didn't didn't Paul just say that? He's like, I, I'm a I'm an example for those that afterward would believe that through me he long suffered me to, to do all this and but through his his grace, his mercy. Through his faithfulness, he brought me into the ministry. That's what the apostles and the elders did for us, man. Man. Go they, ahead. Now. Man. For Yahweh, Bahashim El Shai is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful. Very pitiful, man. He has pity on, on those that really are broken in their spirit. Like like David said, he said, if I, if I was going to make a, a sacrifice on the altar, then I would have given it. I would have done all these things. But the Lord does, he ain't he ain't pleased with that. He don't want that anymore. A broken heart and a contrite spirit will the Lord not despise if you come in truth and are, are completely broken and humbled and trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shai in the prayer, things will happen. happen. Go ahead, huh? And very pitiful mm. and forgiveth sins. Woo! You see that? And forgiveth sins, man. All sins are forgivable. But except the, uh, the the sin of, of the blasphemy, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, man. Yeah. Go ahead, huh? And, sa and save it in a time of affliction. He saves in time of affliction. Man. Come on, man. That's... He saves in time of affliction, man. And uh, it, did you have anything no, else? No. I got a last closing script. Uh. Well, two, two scriptures. One in Psalm 
and uh and then uh going into Bell and the Dragon when Daniel was in the uh in the lion's den. Now this is Psalm 100 and where we at? 117. It says, Oh praise the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Shah, all ye nations, praise him, mm. all ye people. Mm. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai endureth forever. Praise ye Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Shh. And that's the, one of the shortest psalms in the psalms with his own point. Every every word that was spoken was, was, was in uh, truth. Yeah, that's how we feel. That's exactly how we feel. Mm -hmm. we All ye nations praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for what he has mm -hmm. done. And his mercy toward us. You're going to see the mercy that the Lord has for his people. Mm -hmm. Even though two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed and wiped off, that one-third, you're going to know that the Lord loves Israel. Mm -hmm. He told Ezra that. He said, you think you love my creature more than me? Mm -hmm. you, 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 you sadly mistaken. You sadly that. mistaken. <laughs> you sadly mistaken. You sadly mistaken. But, but Ezra wasn't in the wrong. He was just like, Lord, can you just come do it like right now? But the Lord has everything in his own time, in yeah. his own measure. Right now, this is Bell and the Dragon, uh, verse 30. There's only one uh chapter. This verse 30 it says, Now, when the king saw that they pressed him sore, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them, who cast him into the lion's den where he was six days. And in the den, there were seven lions, and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep, which then were not given to them to the intent they might devour Daniel. Now there was in Jewry a prophet called Habakkuk Oof. who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai said unto Habakkuk, Go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who is in the lion's den. Woo. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the Lord, it's like it. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head, and through the vehemency of his spirit, set him in the in uh, set him in Babylon over the den. So it was like uh, the, the angel grabbed him, teleported him, boom, right there to the den in <laughs> to the den where Daniel was in Babylon in that prison where the where the lions was at. You know the lions was like, the, who's that? <laughs> Just floating over the. You got to you got to put yourself there, you know. Exactly. These things really happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. It says, "Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hairs of his head, through the vehemency of his spirit set him in Babylon over the den." And Habakkuk cried, saying, "O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which the heavenly Father has sent thee." And Daniel said, "Listen to what Daniel is going to say here, because he trusted in the Lord." And Daniel said, "Thou has remembered me." O power, neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Woo! So Daniel rose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. That's, that's beautiful, man. Right then and there, you got to trust in the Lord. And trust that the Lord is going to get your enemies back. I'm going to just read it on out to the end. So it says, upon the seventh day, the king went to bewail Daniel. You know, the king thing, oh, man, Daniel threw me out of there. See, this is going into a mind of a heathen, into a mind of, of, of a man of the Lord. A man of the Lord knew that, hey, the Lord got me. He's going to save me. The Lord remembers those that, that seek him and that love, them, that, that love him. Right? It says, then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, so like, uh, let me read verse 40 again. It says, upon the seventh day, the king went to bewail Daniel. And when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting. <laughs> then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, Great art, Yahweh, power of Daniel. And there is none other beside thee. <laughs> See, even he had to acknowledge the power of the Lord. And that he seen one of the servants of the Lord and how much trust he had in the Lord. Even, the, even this, this heathen king had to give praises unto the Lord. So like, whoa, this is what he does for his servants? Man, <laughs> man. To be one of those servants, right? Mm. It says, and drew him out and cast those that were the cause of his destruction into the den. And they were devoured in a moment before his face. So our enemy is going to be devoured in right. a moment. 
Yeah. Before our face. Yeah. If we trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, he will do great things for us. And he will destroy our enemies before our face. Didn't doesn't it say that in the scriptures out? That only with thine eyes yeah, shalt thou see and them. behold the reward of right, the wicked. That's, that's it, man. Because these people in this world, Esau, Edom, preferably the self-proclaimed white man, these heathens, two-thirds of our people do not trust in our power. Mm -mm. But we trust in our power. We do. And they're going to see what trusting in our power gets to those that are righteous and that have that uh, those uh, heavenly gifts and that righteous bank account. They're going to see what the reward of the righteous is in the end and we gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what the reward of the wicked is mm. so there you go trust that's, in the lord go ahead it. I, that's it no you said it, bro. Brother. bro you got it bro hey but they with that brothers with lord's willing you were built up in the spirit keep trusting in the lord <laughs> even on that movie uh coming to america he said you gotta hang on to god's unchanging hand he said he delivered daniel from the lion's den he delivered uh, 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 Joshua in the battle of Jericho. He delivered Jericho mm. to Joshua uh, during that battle. And he said he delivered, <laughs> even though this is a show, Gilligan's Island, remember that? <laughs> yeah. He never got off the island if you watch the show. But he said, but even he said he delivered Gilligan from the island. <laughs> See, because the most I can do impossible things. <laughs> right. Things that are impossible with men are possible with the Heavenly Father. He said, hang on to God's unchanging hand. I'm going to pray for you. Even though it was a comedy <laughs> movie, he was on point with that. So trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And never, never forget it. Never forget the great things he done for our forefathers and what he has been doing for you in this, this short walk that you've been walking in this truth. And remember that the Lord is going to do even greater things Thanks. for those that believe. Oh, so yeah. with that, man. Hey, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the whole flock. Shalom. 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 To the believers, Shalom. Man. Keep believing. That's it.